Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between in and later. I often hear people get this mixed up. I'll give you a few examples. See you later. I'll be back later. She left the party and then she came back about an hour later. I'll see you in two weeks. I'll be there in about two hours. Can you call me back in about five minutes? When I'm teaching, at the end of a lesson I usually say, see you next week, if I'm going to see them the next week, or if their lesson is in two weeks time, then I'll say, see you in two weeks. But I notice that a lot of students don't know that they should use in, and so they say things like, see you two weeks later, or see you after two weeks. The site I recommend today is called eslvideo.com. This is a very cool site. It's great for teachers if you want to pick up a video and create a quiz to test your students. I think you could also use it for your own study too. You could choose a video that you find really interesting and create a quiz for it and then get your teacher or a friend or someone to check your grammar and then upload it to the site. And you'll be improving your English through the process of making the quiz and you'll also be helping others who can use your quiz. I made a quiz recently for show 737 that was the interview with Derek. So you can follow the link and go and check out that quiz. Also, feel free to make quizzes for the Daily English Show videos too. And one cool feature they have on that site is that you can embed the quizzes in your blog or website. Kia ora and stick news today, a woman in Russia killed her husband with a folding couch. Reuters reported a woman in Russia was upset with her husband for being drunk and refusing to get up off the couch. So they had an argument and she kicked a handle which activated a mechanism that folds the couch up against a wall. The couch doubles as a bed and folds up automatically in order to save space. The man fell between the mattress and the back of the couch and was killed instantly. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 9th of July. Kia ora. Today's word is anthropogenic, originating in human activity. Anthropogenic climate change means climate change that has happened due to human activity. There are many words beginning with anthropo. Anthropo means human or relating to human beings. Anthropology is the study of the human race, especially of its origins, development, customs and beliefs. Do you believe in global warming? No, I mean, do you think that it's caused by human activity? Why? It's changing a lot more recently though. So we don't need to care about the environment? What reasons? Well, if scientists say the temperatures are rising, then I guess it must be true. I'm not a scientist, so basically I have no idea. But it seems more likely to me that it's not caused by humans. Because the Earth's climate is always changing naturally. Hmm, I don't know about that. But it's so annoying these days how whenever there's a storm or something, people say, oh, it's because of global warming. But it's like, there have always been storms. No, not at all. I mean, I still care about the environment, but just for other reasons, not really global warming. Stuff like pollution. I like having clean water, clean air, clean rivers, clean beaches. Like, I think it's okay if we dam a few rivers, but if we left the lights on all the time and wasted electricity, then we'd have to dam all the rivers and we'd have no rivers left to enjoy. What does IPCC stand for? A. 
Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change B. Intergenerational Projection of Climate Change C. Intergalactic Project for Climate Change A. According to the IPCC, how likely is it that global warming is caused by human activity? A. Not at all likely B. Unlikely C. Very likely C. According to Wikipedia, how many of the scientists working on global warming agree with the IPCC's main conclusions? A. None B. About half C. The overwhelming majority C. According to the IPCC, how much more will the average global surface temperature rise during the 21st century? A. 1.1 to 6.4 degrees B. 11.1 to 16.4 degrees C. Exactly 5 degrees A. The objective of the Kyoto Protocol is A. To reduce greenhouse gases in an effort to prevent anthropogenic climate change B. To increase the world's temperature in order to save oil C. To promote Japanese culture A. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.